So here's something you may not know. Maryland has a state vote. Did you know that? I, I did, as a matter of fact. Do you want to guess what it is, or I, do you already know that, I, too? Well, I, I no, it's not the dinghy, so it's got to be the skipjack. <laughs> That's right, the skipjack. Dating back to the 1800s, skipjacks were used to dredge oysters in Chesapeake. And even though the number of skipjacks have dwindled, they are still celebrating at local skipjack races. Delmar Life Sean Stryker joins us from Cambridge, where they are gearing up for the Chop Tank Heritage Race. Sean? Yeah, well, Jimmy and Lisa, this is the 17th year for the race, and they're expecting anywhere between 10 to 12 boats this year. I'm here with Ed Nab. Ed, thanks for joining me. Um, now, one thing I thought was neat about your race that you have this weekend, this is all about pride. Yes, they, uh, we organize this where we give show up money instead of prize money. Each boat gets the same amount of money regardless of how they finish. But the captain still will race for pride. There is a, a trophy, a cup and they'll fight for that just as hard as they will for cash. Well, what is it that makes these boats so special? Well, they're iconic to uh, Maryland. The, the sail plan is a very triangular sail. Actually, each boat is uh, distinct. This is the only boat that's been built from plans. The rest of them were done kind of uh, by eyeball. They, they would kind of decide the, the shape that they like. Actually, they were, the size was controlled by the size of the lumber they could come up with. And, and one of the neat things about this race in particular here in Cambridge is you, you're telling me you can see the whole thing from shore. Yes, uh, there's only two skipjack races left in Maryland. See, Deal Island, where they race out in the Tangier Sound, and unless you're on a boat or, or some aircraft, you don't get to see the race. Here, the uh, boats will come within a couple hundred yards of shore, and you can see anywhere from 90 to 100 percent of the race. And actually, from the land, you can see the entire race if you want to drive around a little. Now, this boat over here, this is the Nathan of Dorchester. This is the, the, the one that you're hoping wins. Uh, tell me a little bit about this one. Uh, the Nathan is considered the, the host boat. Uh, we have uh, participated in each of the races. The Dorchester Skipjack Committee, which owns the boat, is now one of the sponsors uh, of the race. We've taken over uh, all the administrative work of getting it organized and, and trying to get the boats here. So tell me, uh, tell everybody at home, when is this going to be happening? Actually, there's a couple days worth. Uh, on Friday night, we have a reception, you know, kind of meet and greet the captains. That is. Um, their captains are quite quite some characters. You can uh, come chat with the captains. It's uh, kind of a heavy hors d'oeuvre uh, affair. And then Saturday, we have the parade where the boats will leave the harbor, coming out to prepare for the race at 9 o'clock. There should be a cannon that uh, salutes them as they leave. And the race is scheduled to start at 10 o'clock. And this year, the all-female crew from Deal Island that won that race, they're going to be, or they're scheduled to be here. Uh, so hopefully they make it. And maybe, I mean, I'm, I'm pulling for you guys because this boat feels pretty fast, but maybe the girls will pull it out again. If you guys want more information on the Chop Tank Heritage Skipjack Race, you can visit our website, wboc.com. Click on our picture at the top of the page. Jimmy and Lisa, this boat is really cool. Yeah, I bet. You, you might want to just spend the rest of the afternoon <laughs> evening say, there. He's want to take that thing out of the water. Yeah. You can tell. Uh, looking at that, uh -huh. it amazes me the work that goes into a skipjack. And, and, and restoring a skipjack, and we're actually going to see that tomorrow for our Delmarva treasure. The skipjack Catherine is being restored as we speak in Deal Island, so stay tuned to, oh. for that to, for tomorrow. And that's not the only upcoming competition we're excited to see. We're counting down to the start of the newest season of Survivor, where castaways will compete for the top prize. We'll meet the competitors next. Plus, we'll get a sneak peek at tonight's series premiere of Gotham the spawning ground of the world's most iconic villains and vigilantes. Okay, first, thank you for watching Del Marvel Life, but now I've got a question. How would you like to join us in Historic Studio D to watch the show? You will leave here with lots of stories to talk about, <laughs> but don't show up on TV. It's easy to book your seat. Just visit WBOC.com, click on our picture at the top of the page, or there's a phone number you can call and let us know you're coming. 443-880-9116. Don't worry, we're live. We'll be right back.